The Toronto Real Estate Board just released the June 2019 Market Watch Report. As we are moving forward to the second half of 2019, I think it is the perfect time for me to give you an update on how we did so far this year. I'm not going to bore you with a whole bunch of data over the entire GTA. So we are going to zoom in and focus on the city of Toronto. I am going to give you three key takeaway points based on my interpretation of the report. Are you ready? The 2019 market is expensive. So you might expect people to step aside, just wait and see what happens. In the first half of 2018, there were 15,403 resale transactions in the city of Toronto. In the second half of 2018, there were 14,460 transactions. What about the first half of 2019? We actually had 15,948 transactions. The number one key takeaway point, the 2019 market is actually more active than last year, with sales activity up 3.5%. What about the price? Were there more activities because the prices were lower? Let's check it out. These were the average prices in the city of Toronto in January this year and last year. In February, the prices climbed above the $800,000 mark. In 2019, we saw a 4.18% increase compared to the same month in 2018. March, similar to February. April is quite shocking. We broke the $900,000 mark on the average price. 4.41% increase compared to April last year. In May, prices continued to move up and that's a big 7.85% increase compared to May last year. In June, the average price came down a little bit, but still a 5.16% increase compared to June last year. Notice that prices seemed to drop in January. That's just because we were deep in the winter, so there were much fewer transactions. At the beginning of 2019, we thought the prices were already very high. So these results may come as a surprise to you. The number two takeaway point. Prices continue to grow in 2019 with an average price of over $900,000. What about rent? Last year, we saw a double digit increase in rent. Urban Nation predicted that the Toronto rent increase would slow down in 2019 as more units become available. The increase did slow down, but in the city of Toronto, rents are still growing well above the rate of inflation. A one bedroom unit rents for 2,192 per month, a 6.7 increase from last year. A two bedroom unit rents for 2,873 per month, a 4.3% increase from last year. What does it mean when the rent increase is well above the rate of inflation? The number three takeaway point. We need even more housing supply in order to keep up with our population growth. So those are my three takeaway points from the first half of 2019. More activities, prices up, more supply needed. On a side note, CMHC will be launching a new first time home buyer incentive program in September. The program will offer a first time buyer an interest free payment free loan up to 10% of the purchase price. So we're expecting even more activities in the market when the program comes online in September.